We are here with Richard Cart, and he has been working on a very unique event for the past, what, three years? Four. Four years. So he's going to tell us all about that. Richard, we're so glad you're here with us. Can you give us some insight as to this event you've been putting on? Uh, the event is called the um, it's a 2017 HPOCA Summer Show. It's a national show for the Oliver Collectors Association. And um, it's um, it's been in the works for four years. It's uh, We have three days full of activities for everybody. Right. Now, what does what does HPOCA stand for? Hard Part Oliver Collectors Association. <laughs> It's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. That's a big one. And so with this event that you're putting on, what makes this one so special? I know that it's tractors, but what makes it stand out from the other tractor shows? Well, it's a national show, which brings people in from all over the country, uh, along with people from Canada and possibly overseas. At the past shows over the years, we've had people from New Zealand. Oh, my goodness. We've had people from um, England. Uh, there's been people there from uh, uh, just all over. All over it, yeah. It's just uh, it's it's a big show. Uh, this is the first time that the National HPOCA Summer Show has ever been below I-70, so that makes it a little bit unusual. It does make it unusual. And with this show, um, you not only have people from all over the United States coming, and like you said, someone maybe from overseas. But this is this is a big show. It's not just Oliver's. You're going to have Oliver's, and you're going to have other tractors also, aren't you? All other brands are welcome to come. Uh, we're hoping to get a lot of other um, tractors to come also. You know, mm -hmm. international John Deere's cases, uh, whatever. Uh, we'd like to get everybody involved. Now, for those that are wanting to get involved, there's a phone number that they can call. And what is that phone number? Uh, that phone number is eight one two. 871-6452. But if they want to actually get you an email, they have to send that to your wife, don't they? They have to send that to my wife, <laughs> yes. Uh, that's sjcart at outlook.com. Okay, well we'll make sure that they get in touch somehow. <laughs> now over this event, there's going to be like three days of an event, isn't there? It's, it's July 22nd? It's June 22nd, June 22nd. 23rd, and 24th. Uh, the 22nd, we'll have tours to uh, downtown Madison, and uh, there'll be a reception that evening at Clifty Falls State Park at the end, which now is our host hotel. Who's your speaker going to be that night? Our, well, our speaker is uh, during the banquet, the Saturday yes. night, and that's Tim Sharp. He's from Indianapolis. His father and grandfather were the biggest Oliver dealership in the state of Indiana in the 50s and 60s. Oh, wow. And he's going to be our guest speaker for a PowerPoint presentation at our banquet Saturday night at Clifty Falls State Park. And then you have another special speaker coming. Who's that? We have another gentleman that's coming from Iowa, uh, Lyle DeMont. And Lyle is one of the founding fathers of this uh, organization. And we're going to have uh, a tractor and a hay rake that he uh, drove around round for hours <laughs> while this gentleman did a rendering. And they used that to merchandise stuff to make money for the organization right. in the very beginning. And, and uh, he's going to be there along with the tractor's going to be there and the hay rake right. and set up to look just like, hopefully, uh, just like the, the picture of the rendering. Right. Is. Now, I don't know if those of you that are our age are going to understand what that is. If you ever see a picture of an Oliver tractor with the farmer on it in his farming clothes and his hat and the hay rake behind him with the barn, that's the picture he's talking about. So this yes. is really cool that he's going to be there with the equipment. So, yes. And you've actually worked on that hay rake. You, you acquired I own, the hay rake. I, I own the hay rake. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gone to Iowa to pick up the tractor. So the actual right. tractor, actual hay rake will be there. Uh, along with the actual gentleman that was on it. Oh, so, that's awesome. Yes. And then his wife's bringing the... Um, Mannequin to go on it, isn't yes, she? Yes, she's sure bringing mannequins like to look like Lyle. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, is there, there are other things going on with this event. You, um, you have several people coming in to do the speakers and things like that. What type of awards are going are going to be given away that day? Are you going to have special recognition for anything? At the banquet Saturday evening, uh, the banquet starts at six thirty, uh -huh. and at the banquet we have a fun option, but we also will be giving awards to uh, the person that's come the farthest 
and we're giving awards to the youngest person there and the oldest person there at the banquet. Right. So that'll be some of the things that will happen during the banquet, along with the fun auction, which is always a kind of a hit for everybody. They enjoy doing that. Now that's something we need to tell them. During the auction, you may want to make it out to this auction. What's one of the items being auctioned off, the, the picture? The picture, the rendering of this tractor and hay rake. We have had the gentleman, he is still alive too, that did this. Uh, his name's Farley, and uh, Mr. Farley's from Iowa. And he did uh, a print for us. It's one of one, and he signed it. And it's been framed, and it's going to be at the auction. It's going to be up for auction. My gosh. I, I'd love to have that picture, but I have a feeling <laughs> it's going to go for a lot more than what I'm going to be able to spend. So it'll, it'll be a nice thing to take home. Yes, it should be very nice. Oh, very wow. nice, very nice. Now, you also, you restore tractors. You're not just putting on a tractor show. You restore tractors. This is what I do for a living. I've done this since uh, 06. Oh. Uh, absolutely done this and nothing else. And uh, I restore around 17 to 20 tractors a year. That's a lot of tractors. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. you think about taking them apart all the way and putting them back together, that takes a while. We do all makes. This so when do you get to go in the house? <laughs> well, it's not that bad. Okay. I'm thinking 17 tractors a year. That's quite a bit. That's a nice hobby. Yes. Yeah, it was a hobby and turned into a full-time job. So. <laughs> but now you restore more than just Oliver tractors. You don't, it's not just Oliver tractors, is it? No, no. I do, I do all makes, all brands. Um, I do a lot for Case Corporate. I race in Wisconsin. Uh, we've got, uh, I think, 11 in their museum up there. I have one in corporate headquarters in the lobby. Oh. Uh, we've done as far south as uh, Peachtree to Cobb County Airport in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I've done some tow motors for them. I've done some uh, uh, what they call uh, tugs that would pull, pull the baggage. I know stuff. what that is. And they're old antique ones. They're back <laughs> right. in the 50s and 60s too. So, right. and we've got two or three of those here now that we're working on. So, oh but, now you've also got three beauties are a featured tractor. Three beauties. Can you tell everybody what that is? Because they, they, a lot of people, even if you have an Oliver, you may not know what this is. Three Beauties are a 66 Oliver, a 77 Oliver, and an 88 Oliver. Uh, they were made, the Three Beauties were made from 48 to 50. Right. Three years. And when they introduced these at the Chicago Expo, when they were introducing the six cylinder engine in the Oliver tractor, uh, they put three women, a redhead, a blonde, and a brunette, on these three tractors as they parade them in to show them what they'd come out with. And hence, that's how they became and known the three, as the Three Beauties. Yeah. Now, with the toys, do they also, like when they box them up for the toys, do they have the Three Beauties on the on the box for oh. the toys also? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, it, it's, so. it's, the names just stuck with them all these yeah. years. And we, uh, I, I own th the Three Beauties, and we just finished them, and they will be... Uh, at, the at, at the show, yes. Now I found something interesting. You know, I I was raised on a farm, but I never noticed. You told me that the difference between the three beauties and a regular Oliver is the yellow stripe down at the bottom and at the top. There's that's that's sets them off. That's right. The the forty eight, forty nine, and fifty models had a um, uh, I'll call a, a reveal mm -hmm. on the um, uh, cast iron tub. That holds the engine right. uh, on the outside and they were painted yellow and also on the top of the hood there's a yellow stripe that goes back to the gas tank and that was only three years they did that with the yellow well see now i, I learned something <laughs> i can go back and tell my uncle that i know something maybe he doesn't you. know <laughs> i don't know if he'll find that neat or not but we'll tell him anyway now what is the hardest tractor you've ever had to put together you told me of a story about one that i find really unusual what was the hardest one? Well, we had a farm on F20 that came from uh, Stylesville, Indiana, from a Chandler um, apple orchard up there. And it was uh, their, his dad's, uh, the son's grandfather's. And the son started taking it apart, and uh, I reckon it was a little bit more of a job than what he thought it was going to be. And he didn't get it put back together. So they brought it to me and asked me if I could put it together. Now, how did they, they bring brought, it to They you? brought it in an apple crate. <laughs> and... Uh, we unloaded everything out of the apple crate, and we put everything back in as we got off the trailer. But we had most of the engine was in the apple crate. And with the help of a gentleman from Pennsylvania, I was able to get the thing back together. That, that's probably been the toughest one I've ever had to do. Oh, my goodness. But 
that's just so neat that you could bring that one back to life. You could actually restore it, and then they actually have their grandfather's tractor that they can actually ride on now. Yeah, that's a sentimental, yeah, you know, thing. And, and he's had it at the state fair a few times, up at Pioneer Village. Matt is his name, and uh, Gary is the father's name. But uh, they they bring it to the state fair sometimes up there, and they parade it around oh, and whatnot. Right. And it's a uh, it's something to see. Now, what night is the actual parade for this? It's a uh, one o'clock Friday afternoon. One the 23rd and uh, we'll be leaving the fairgrounds uh, going down Hanover Hill mm -hmm. uh, through historic Madison and then we'll come back down the riverfront and back to the fairgrounds about a 12 13 mile right. Uh, ride but if you ride a tractor that is that's amazing that would be uh, that's a nice ride it's a it's a neat way to see the uh, scenery and everything yeah. Smell the flowers, yeah. honeysuckle, and <laughs> and any tractors that come are invited to do this. You don't have to be an Oliver; you can be anything. You know, right. any other brand. Uh, everybody's invited to the parade. This is just awesome. So. so we need to make sure people know to get here and get to this and sign up. And we've already given them the phone number and the email. Is there any other type of contact information we might should give them? No, they can always uh, get on visitmadison.com, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. they have a lot of information on there about it. And uh, as far as hotels and stuff, they want to come, eating places, different things. It's uh, but there there should be something here for everyone. Right. Uh, there's three days uh, packed full of stuff to do. Well, I just so. think this is wonderful. This is just amazing. And without your wife, you couldn't have done all this, could you? Oh no, without my wife and my my kids, uh, they've helped out a lot. And my wife has done a lot of the work. She's sitting over here watching. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, is. she is. She's done a lot of work. I tried to get her to speak, but she. <laughs> That's okay. She's telling us what all we need to remember. That's right, that's right. So we're really appreciative that she's here to help out with all that's this. Right. So this is great. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure we get this out for you. And then if you want to be part of this, if you have a tractor, you know, a big one, a little one, medium size, whatever, try to get over here to this. It's gonna be at the fairgrounds, Jefferson yes. County Fairgrounds. The Jefferson County Fairgrounds here in Madison, Indiana. Uh, we even have garden tractors coming. Yeah, oh, neat. Hit and miss engines. Uh, there's a swap meet. Um, there's going to be an auction, a uh, consignment auction, Saturday morning. So, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. There's tours of downtown Madison going Thursday and Friday along with uh, the tractor ride. There's a tractor pull Friday night. And then the conclusion is the, uh, the banquet Saturday evening. Well, we're going to make sure everybody knows about this. We're going to put it up and then also the day before, we're going to tell you what's going to happen the next day. So if you watch Bridging the Gap, and Madison TV 15, we're going to make sure that you know what's going on and the local people or whoever's watching that can actually tell tomorrow they need to be in the fairgrounds at a certain time to catch whatever it is you want to see. And you get to tour the tractors and actually take the kids out and let them see that kind of stuff. So I think it's great that you guys are doing that. Well, it's, uh, it's all to uh, support the Madison Marching Band. And, uh, That's right. It, uh, all the money made from this, all the proceeds go to the Madison Band. And, uh, and they're going to be there picking up and taking care of things too, aren't they? They're, all the youth is going to be there. They're going to be there uh, picking up trash, parking cars. That's uh, good for them. They're even going to have a concession stand there. Yeah. So we're hoping they do well. Oh, I think they, I yeah. think they will. I think they'll do great. Well, thank you so much for being with us. This is just wonderful, and I hope it all goes great for you. Well, thank you. We we'll look forward to seeing you. <laughs> we're going to stop by. Okay. <laughs> and as for you, thank you so much for watching, as always.